asking everybody, what do you think of the movie? They're all saying how much they love it. It's beautiful. It's like the movie we've been waiting for. But now that it's finished, what do you think of it? How proud are you with the finished product? Well, first of all, uh, I, I could not be more uh, honored to be associated with not just the, the world that, that I love since I was 11 years old, but yep. uh, with the kind of work that was done on this movie. The cast and the crew were so fantastic and did mm -hmm. such beyond expectation work everywhere you look uh, that every time I get freaked out or overwhelmed by expectation or all that noise, I just think about what people actually get to see and you get to you know, not just see the great visual effects and special effects and the new music by John Williams and all that stuff, but to have performances by people like Daisy Ridley, who is like this fearless revelation. She's incredible. You know, Harrison Ford back in this mm. role in a way that I can't tell you how great he is in this. And also, obviously, you know, Adam Driver and John Boyega, Lupita Nyong'o, this amazing group of younger actors along with Carrie Fisher and the original cast. I, I just, you know, it, it's so... I feel very lucky that I got to be there. And you worked on the screenplay with Lawrence Kasdan. I mean, I know. come on, Empire, Jedi, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, uh, uh, he was... Like the man. Well, uh, he's the man. I, I was uh, sort of the student. He, he was an incredible uh, collaborator, and to get to work with someone who was sort of an icon and, and, and who has become a friend and, and was so, you know, obviously uh, critical in figuring out where do we find these new characters? You know, what has the world become since we last saw them in, in Return of the Jedi? There was no one, uh, you know, that I would rather have had at my side to, you know, having created Yoda and some of the greatest lines that the Han Solo ever spoke. I mean, Lawrence Kasdan. Well, Isn't it crazy, like, thinking now that you almost said no to this project? <laughs> yes, but, it, but, but I also... But uh, why did you say no initially? Well, partly because I, you know, partly because I... I Love this franchise so much, it almost felt like I just, it's like, too intimidating. Yeah. Partly because Katie, my wife, and I had plans to take our kids away. Partly because I'd done sequels already and I thought, I don't want to do another sequel. And I met with Kathy Kennedy and we spoke for, you know, a half an hour and I just found myself salivating. I was like, oh my God, this world, the opportunity here is so enormous. And I, I went and talked to Katie and I just said, I think I really want to do this. And she, she just said, if it's, it's, too big of an opportunity not to really consider it. But this, this, what really sold you on this was, who is Luke Skywalker? Yeah, it was a question that Kathy asked uh, about, you know, finding new characters that happen to be living in a Star Wars universe. And it, what struck me was this idea that 30 some years after the last uh, chapter, you'd find these 19, 20 year old, you know, young people in this world who may or may not know about the Force, may or may not know about the Jedi, Luke Skywalker, any of the stuff that, that people might know. And part of the importance there is that we knew this would be the first Star Wars movie for some people. Mm. And the way George Lucas, uh, among the many brilliant things he did in, in that first film, he dropped you right into the middle of something. And he didn't explain what the dark times were. He didn't explain what the Senate was or, or what the Clone Wars were. He references them, but he doesn't explain it. And what's so great about that is it it allows the audience to infer a whole world beyond the borders of what you're seeing. And I thought, well, we can do that here so that you don't have to see one through six mm. to jump on board with this one. But, of course, if you have seen them... You can appreciate it more. There'll, there'll be things that you'll get. Right. Okay, I want to know how you got Harrison Ford to agree to do this movie and if it was just easy... It, was, it happened or... before I got there. It, before I was even brought on board, the original cast was already signed on. Wow. Yeah. But in terms of talking about, about John Boyega, Daisy Ridley, Daisy Ridley, who you described as... Tough. Mm -hmm. You described her as tough because I mean there was a scene where where you know explosions were going off you know the by her and she had like sparks go down down her back. Yeah, yeah. You know what made Daisy Ridley sort of like tougher than some of the other newer actors you had? Well, tough is you know one of the sort of infinite things that she seems to be. Um, mostly, she is intuitive, and she she's seemingly uh, uh, capable uh, beyond. Explanation. I mean, I say that because she's starring in her first movie, in in, in the Force Awakens, and and that alone to be in your first movie is such a a, a hard thing to. But to be in a Star Wars movie, you have to have to sort of shoulder that kind of of a, of a responsibility. She does it fearlessly. She does it with. Uh, she's just so open. Her emotional uh, side is is just so. Uh, accessible to her in a way that seems for me miraculous you know to talk to an actor and, and ask for something kind of in any 
uh, direction emotionally and then have her deliver it almost immediately and and in an, in an inspired way that you can't believe. Uh, I just can't say enough about her. But she's surrounded by people like Oscar Isaac and John Boyega and Adam Driver and Lupita Nyong'o and these other young actors who all bring a, a, a power to their performance that I honestly could have only dreamt of when we started shooting. But JJ, how important was it for you to get the blessing? And when did you get the blessing? How did you get it from George Lucas? Well, George, whom I'd known uh, for a little while before this movie, called and said, you know, are you going to do it? And if, if, and, 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 no pressure. And, and, it, do it. and he said, and if, if you do it, you know, this will be your thing. I'm going to take a step back. And wow. uh, I was so grateful, obviously, that, that he would give his blessing. And then along the way, you know, I, I asked him uh, if he wanted to see it early. He said he wanted to wait and see wow. it when the movie was done. Like, he really did let us do our thing. And, and uh, every day we were working, we were making something standing on the shoulders of what he had created.